Hi, I'm Sarah Warren. We've assembled a great group of women to uh, dish and dissect on the pop culture news of the week, starting with Stacey Ann Chin. I'm a writer, I guess, performance artist, mostly known as a poet, um, and I guess I have strong opinions. I'm Shamian Antoine, I'm a reporter for CBS News on Logo. I'm Lauren Blitzer, I am a writer. I wrote the nonfiction book, Save Sex in the City. And I am Sarah Warren, and I'm the founder and editor of AfterEllen.com, the largest lesbian site on the internet, and we feature news and reviews and commentary on lesbian and bisexual women. Our guest for today is uh, Jill Bennett, who is an out actress who can currently be seen kissing Mariel Hemingway in the movie In Her Line of Fire, which comes out on DVD this month. So welcome, Jill. What do you think as, a, as an out actress? What do you think of the L word? Because that, that actually starts this week, uh, right? Yes, it The does. next season. Um, it's a show that all of us get together and watch, like, 15 of us in, in a room, and I don't think we're able to watch an entire episode without stopping mm -hmm. and talking about it. Like, mm -hmm. what was that? Or, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, Shane and Carmen's love scene, and she's just starting to dance and take her clothes off, and then they cut to Tina and her stupid boyfriend. And I'm like, <laughs> no, what is this woman yeah, doing? Right. Like, are you kidding me? Like, who yeah. wants to see this? Just about every character on the show has dated a guy, gone mm -hmm. back to dating men, or started just sleeping mm -hmm. with men. At some point. Yeah. Now there's, what, maybe two characters that haven't yet, mm -hmm. and I'm waiting for, mm -hmm. you know, I'm waiting for yeah. that to happen this mm -hmm. season. So clearly, and yes, it happens. Mm -hmm. It happens in our community, mm -hmm. but it's, it's You think a it's a little overrepresented mm -hmm. on Yeah, the show. it's a little overrepresented, yeah. I would say. So tell us about the movie. What was it like? Um, it was a lot of fun. It's, it's a fun popcorn action film. Uh, Marielle Hemingway plays uh, the vice president's uh, secret service agent, and I play a press secretary. And uh, we sort of set up at the top that the two of us are have some sort of tension going on, and uh, hopefully you get the idea pretty quickly what that is. Um, our plane goes down, and we have to then protect the president from anti-American gorillas on an island, and we're Excellent. running around and <laughs> wet and misty, and <laughs> that's the important love, part because yeah. that's what you do when you're. Well, for I mean, trying to protect I, the president. Yeah, yeah. First thing <laughs> I'm Running thinking about is sex. Yeah. Yeah. On that note, yes. Um, can, first of all, can we have a look at this clip? I have special permission from the vice president to get any coverage I need. Have had it for two months. Why do you continue to have such a problem with it? I have a problem with you. When the vice president is on a phone call with the White House chief of staff, don't put a camera in his face. Got it? Got it. But uh, I find it interesting that you don't get on Kendall's or Murphy's ass. What is it about mine you find so attractive? When I saw the trailer, I got all excited. I said, because the line was, the best man for the job was a woman. Mm -hmm. But I found out that the job was protecting the vice president. Not and the president. Not the president. <laughs> Why not? How did you build a glass ceiling into a fictional <laughs> 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 We can be on top. It's I awesome. I agree. I if, if, had I written the thing, it would have been the president. Um, I, in I, fact, you would have been the president. I yes. would have been the president. <laughs> now there was a little snafu with was it Miss USA? Oh, that's right. Yeah. You know, it was really about her partying behavior. But they, I love this. Never fails. You guys notice how anytime there's something in the news about so-and-so partying too much, inevitably lesbian issues come up okay. somewhere there. Yeah. 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 After those yeah. Miss yeah. Teen, yeah. Miss Teen yeah. USA yeah. or whatever, yeah. Yeah, whatever they were, yeah. my favorite was the description, lustily kissing each yeah. other yeah. in public. Yeah. Yeah. As right. opposed to puritanically happens. kissing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, That's young right. people, you give them some alcohol, you give them some money, some freedom, a, a, a Put great a apartment in the trunk. Yeah. Yeah. Of course you're going to end up kissing a woman. Yeah. She's 20. Mm -hmm. She's, yeah. you know, she's not a kid. She's mm -hmm. 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Even Miss Teen USA, if they made out, was 18. It makes us see how much these pageants are very heterosexual sexist I mean yeah. and, and, and kind of puritanical yeah. and like, unrealistic yeah. and yeah. kind of what they expect of these young people yeah. you know maybe if they gave it to a 35 year old woman you know <laughs> maybe they wouldn't have her yeah. drinking and you know making out with teenagers America. you yeah. should enter so speaking of being long in the tooth, you know, I just turned 34. Christmas Day is my birthday. Oh. Hey, Christmas How Day. How was it? Uh, you, you I, I, I want to say that without sounding like I'm whining, <laughs> but that's exactly the yeah. point. You know, right now I'm seeing somebody who always gives me two gifts. Mm -hmm. But in the past, you know, I've dated spawns of the devil who only mm -hmm. give me one. You know, I buy a gift in April, I buy a gift in December. Come on. Come on. 
bitter bitter. lesbian. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Every group needs one. (laughs) So, I mean, but, you know, the holidays are always difficult. In terms of New Year's resolutions, does anybody have any good ones? Interesting, Uh, funny. mm. I would like to see a movie that doesn't involve a lesbian, because pretty much that's all I have time to watch right now, so this year I'm determined. (laughs) Straight movie. That's right. (laughs) I want to work on my commitment issue. All right then. <laughs> Which is no, you, no, you can't <laughs> just drop that and yeah. then okay, moving on to you. Yeah, I, I, you I, have you to know, expound on. This. I want to be able to like you know move in. Like, I've never lived with anybody, and I have like huge issues. I feel like this is my bathroom, and you can be in it like every day, but you mm. need to have your own address. You need to have mm-hmm. a your place own, where you have your own bathroom. Right. Yeah. That's a prerequisite. Right. So I think I want to I want to okay. work on the, you know being able to cohabit. Okay. Good. What about you, Shami? I want to eat more carbohydrates. <laughs> I work with all gay men. So um, in the office at lunchtime, it's salads. And, oh, you know, they're all so very fun. health conscious and they're oh. beautiful. They're beautiful. And so I, you know, I, they're probably, you know, so like, and I, you know, so I, I think you get swept up in that also being, yep. you know, in the entertainment, you start looking at yourself a little differently. But I like cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be in a, in a good relationship this year, a healthy mm-hmm. one. Ah. Oh. That's mine. Mm-hmm. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> I'd like that um, fatalism. Gosh, I'd, I'd like to play a, a straight romantic lead just to see if I can right, do it. Right. <laughs> just to see if I can do it. Yeah. Then they'll tell you you're not, you don't look straight enough. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's right, right, right. Androgyny just doesn't work in Hollywood. That's right. Well, that's it for this week. Uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week.